lost her D.I.L. around in her house, but once the guests left, she went pale when she saw. In a quaint suburban neighborhood, the Williams family home stood as a testament to tradition and order. Inside, the household was ruled by Margaret Williams, the formidable mother-in-law, who believed in strict discipline and unwavering authority. Her daughter-in-law, Emily, a gentle and kind-hearted woman, had moved in after marrying Margaret's son, Robert. Margaret often took pleasure in exerting her control over Emily, dictating her every move and ensuring that she adhered to the rigid standards set for running the household. Emily, out of respect for her husband's mother and a desire to keep peace in the family, complied with Margaret's demands without complaint. One sunny afternoon, the Williams household was buzzing with activity as they prepared for a grand family gathering. Relatives from all over were invited, and Margaret was determined to make a lasting impression. She barked orders at Emily, instructing her to clean, cook, and prepare everything to perfection. Emily, make sure the silverware is spotless, and don't forget to polish the china. The guests must see that we maintain the highest standards, Margaret commanded, her voice echoing through the halls. Emily, with a smile on her face and a heavy heart, dutifully complied, scrubbing, polishing, and cooking under Margaret's watchful eye. Robert, oblivious to his mother's harsh treatment of his wife, mingled with the arriving guests, basking in the praise for the beautifully arranged home and delicious spread. As the evening progressed, the house filled with laughter and conversation. Margaret basked in the compliments, taking credit for the meticulous arrangements. Emily, on the other hand, remained in the background, her efforts unnoticed by most, save for a few kind-hearted relatives who offered her words of appreciation. Among the guests was Aunt Clara, an elderly woman with a sharp eye and an even sharper tongue. She had always been fond of Emily and often tried to offer her words of encouragement. As the night went on, Clara observed the dynamics between Margaret and Emily, her keen senses picking up on the underlying tension. Emily, dear, why don't you sit down for a moment and enjoy the party? Clara suggested, her voice gentle yet firm. Emily glanced nervously at Margaret, who shot her a disapproving look. Thank you, Aunt Clara, but I still have a lot to do, Emily replied, her voice barely above a whisper. Clara frowned but decided to let it go for the moment. She knew there was more to the story and resolved to speak to Emily in private later. When the last guest had departed, leaving behind a trail of compliments and admiration, Margaret turned to Emily, her demeanor suddenly changing. The warmth and charm she displayed in front of the guests vanished, replaced by her usual stern expression. Emily, clean up this mess. I expect everything to be back in order by morning, Margaret ordered, her voice cold and commanding. Emily nodded silently, her exhaustion evident in her eyes. She began to clear the tables and tidy up, feeling the weight of Margaret's constant criticism bearing down on her. As she worked, Emily's mind wandered to a secret she had kept hidden for months. She had discovered something about Margaret, a piece of information that could change everything. But she had kept it to herself, fearing the consequences it might bring. Tonight, however, something inside her snapped. The unfair treatment, the constant belittling, and the thankless work had finally taken their toll. Emily decided it was time to confront Margaret and reveal what she knew. Taking a deep breath, she approached Margaret, who was now sitting in the living room, sipping tea and looking smugly satisfied with herself. Margaret, I need to talk to you, Emily began, her voice steady but filled with determination. Margaret looked up, surprise flickering across her face. What is it, Emily? Can't you see I'm trying to relax? I know something about you, something you've been hiding from everyone, Emily said, her eyes locking onto Margaret's. Margaret's face paled, her confident demeanor wavering for the first time. What are you talking about? Emily reached into her pocket and pulled out a small, folded piece of paper. This, she said, handing it to Margaret. Margaret unfolded the paper with trembling hands, her eyes scanning the contents. Her face grew even paler as she read the words, her mouth opening and closing in shock. How did you find this? Margaret whispered, her voice barely audible. I found it while cleaning your study, Emily replied. 
I didn't mean to pry, but it fell out of one of your books. I know your secret, Margaret. I know about the debts, the lies, and the deceit, and I know that if this were to come to light, it would ruin you. Margaret's hands shook as she held the paper, her mind racing. She had always prided herself on her impeccable reputation and her control over her family. The thought of losing everything she had worked so hard to maintain was unbearable. Please, Emily, Margaret pleaded, her tone changing from one of authority to desperation. You can't tell anyone. I'll do anything you ask. Emily took a step back, her resolve strengthening. I don't want to hurt you, Margaret, but I can't continue to live like this, under your constant scrutiny and control. Things need to change. Margaret nodded, her eyes filling with tears. I understand. I'll treat you with the respect you deserve. I promise. From that day forward, the dynamic in the Williams household shifted. Margaret, humbled by the fear of her secret being exposed, treated Emily with newfound kindness and respect. Emily, empowered by her decision to stand up for herself, found her voice and took her rightful place as an equal in the family. The guests who visited in the future noticed the change in Margaret and Emily's relationship. The once domineering mother-in-law now showed genuine appreciation for her daughter-in-law, and Emily, in turn, blossomed in the supportive environment. The Williams family home continued to be a place of warmth and tradition, but now it was also a place of mutual respect and understanding. And while the secret Margaret harbored remained hidden, the lesson it taught both women was invaluable. True strength lies in compassion and respect, not in control and dominance. Over the following months, Emily and Margaret worked together to rebuild their relationship. They started spending time together, sharing stories and experiences, and learning to appreciate each other's strengths and weaknesses. Emily discovered that beneath Margaret's stern exterior was a woman who had faced many hardships and had built walls around herself as a means of protection. Margaret, in turn, began to see Emily not as a threat to her authority, but as a kind and capable woman who only wanted to contribute to the family's well-being. She admired Emily's resilience and compassion, traits that she had once dismissed as weakness. The transformation in their relationship was evident to everyone around them. Robert, who had been oblivious to the tension between his mother and wife, was pleasantly surprised by the newfound harmony in the household. He had always loved both women dearly and was grateful that they had found a way to coexist peacefully. One evening, as they sat together in the living room, Margaret turned to Emily with a thoughtful expression. Emily, I want to apologize for the way I've treated you. I was wrong to try and control you, and I see now that I've been unfair. Can you forgive me? Emily smiled warmly, her heart lightened by Margaret's sincerity. Of course, Margaret, we all make mistakes, but what's important is that we learn from them and grow. I'm just happy that we can move forward together. As they continued to talk, Emily felt a sense of relief and closure. She had finally stood up for herself and had been met with understanding and respect. The bond she and Margaret were forming was built on mutual trust and appreciation a far cry from the power struggle that had once defined their relationship. Aunt Clara, ever the observer, noticed the change as well. During her next visit, she pulled Emily aside. I see things have improved around here, dear. I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself. Emily nodded, feeling a swell of gratitude. Thank you, Aunt Clara. It wasn't easy, but it was worth it. Clara patted Emily's hand. Remember, Strength isn't about how much you can control others. It's about how much you can empower them. You've shown great strength, my dear. As the years went by, the Williams family continued to thrive. Margaret and Emily's relationship became a cornerstone of their family life, a testament to the power of understanding and forgiveness. The secret that had once threatened to tear them apart became a catalyst for change, leading them to a place of greater harmony and respect. And so... The Williams family home remained a place of warmth and tradition, where love and compassion reigned supreme, and where the lessons of the past served as a guide for a brighter future.